welcome to Tough Glove Boxing. I am locked in, and let's get ready to talk about it! What's good, everybody? I'm locked in. Welcome to another episode of Tough Glove Boxing. So, let's talk boxing, right? Ever since Regis Pro Great, right? Rugo 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 is now the WBC Super Champ. What's up, girl? What you want? You want to get on camera? Come on. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. This is my baby. All right, all right. Get down. Move. All right. So, like I said, Rugo Rugo, man, right? Rugo Rugo is a live dog, like my baby Blue over here. You dig? Hey, he asked us to do him a favor and let Mr. Tiafimo Lopez let him know what had happened to him if they were supposed to fight. Because now that my man is a champion, again, which I am so happy for, congratulations to him. The boy's a beast and a live dog. Check out his interviews, you understand? I understand that he recently said in the interview that him, Jamel, and Jamal Charlo, they came up together, right? I didn't really know the history, but I know him and Jamel was close. But with both Charlo brothers, they came up together for years. They used to go to the same gym. Nobody was really looking at them to be the stars, you know, to, to come up and be in the position that they are now. They were looking at other fighters that they thought was going to take the forefront, right? And they ended up becoming the stars, both Charlos and Regis Program. You understand? So shout out to them. That's just an example of what hard work, dedication, and believing in yourself and not putting your confidence in the hands of somebody else that's looking on the outside into you. You gotta know from within that you're great enough to accomplish your goals and that's exactly what that did. Now my man is a two-time champion and everybody's calling him out. We got Tiafimo Lopez calling him out. I understand we got Adrian Brona calling the guy out. You understand what I'm saying? So right now his name is ringing bells. And I'm glad, I'm glad, cause I wanna see Regis get his shine, you know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something, I know on this channel I've been very hard on Tiafimo Lopez, I've been hard on him, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That's not to say I don't like him, just like Ryan Garcia. These are people that I was rooting for early on in their careers. I actually didn't stop rooting for Tiafimo Lopez until after he won the Lomachenko fight because his mind just went bananas. And I used to think those belts were cursed because when George Kimboso beat him, he started acting the same way. But thank God Devin Haney, has let us know that the belts are not cursed. That was just the character of the men that were holding the belts, right? So, this is the thing with Tiafimo Lopez. I don't want, you know, he's fighting another opponent. Okay, you know, he has to get acclimated to the division, but I do like the fact that he's gunning for Regis. I like to hear that. You know, if anybody knows my channel, you know I like it when they run toward the smoke. And Regis Pro Great is smoke. If Tiafimo Lopez and Regis fight, I feel like that's definitely pay-per-view quality fight. Definitely. You understand what I'm saying? So now, here's what I think, right? We have Tiafimo Lopez. Great power. Fast. Speed, right? Um, good punch placement. Good foot movement, right? Good head movement. We got Regis Pro Great. Good foot movement. Great fighting technique. Great rhythm. Knows how to bend at the waist. Come up with his punches. You know what I'm saying? Great jab. Great fantastic jab. Strong jab. Power, both hands, great head movement, right? Good ring generalship, durable, granite chin. So I think that TF, I, I personally think, man, I, I'm not gonna say he's gonna wash TFEMO because I don't think anybody can wash TFEMO. In, in, in all honesty, I know I give TFEMO a hard time, but let's not act like the guy can't fight. The guy's a great fighter, you understand? The guy's a dog. But Regis, this is it's a whole nother level. When you start talking about Josh Taylor and Regis and them guys up there, man, you, you have to really be a live dog. And that's what happened when Regis lost to out uh, Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor just out-dogged him. Regis Probrate can fight on the inside. He can box you from mid-range, right? He can show you good ring general shit on the outside. He's not just gonna stand there and go toe to toe for you and let you. He has a very high ring IQ. So if him and Regis, if Tiafimo Lopez and Regis Pro Great do get to fight, that to me is gonna be Tiafimo Lopez's hardest challenge, even over Lomachenko. Lomachenko couldn't touch Regis Pro Great. That's why he'll never move up. 
But I'm not gonna, that's not fair to put that on, on, on Lomachenko because he's he's a smaller guy, right? So he's in the smaller weight division. And Tiafimo is a bigger guy. He's I feel like Tiafimo is in the weight division that he belongs in now. So with Tiafimo Lopez calling out Regis Progray, right? There's no reason why he shouldn't fight Devin Haney. Because I personally think Regis Progray is a harder fight for Tiafimo Lopez than Devin Haney. That's just my opinion. I don't want people to trip on me because when you talk about Devin Haney, man, you, you get a crowd coming for you. I, I like Devin Haney. I mess with Devin Haney. I think Devin Haney is going to be undefeated for a long time. So these are just my personal opinions. And I don't say, if you disagree with me, you have every right. And I can see why you would disagree with me. Devin Haney is a beast. Now, talking about uh, Adrian Broner versus Regis Prograde, that might be a little harder for Regis Prograde. But the problem with Adrian Broner is his punch output. That's literally one of his only problems, bro in the ring and he don't like nobody to tell him that you know you gotta punch you gotta let them hands go you got the speed you had or you had the speed you had the power you understand and i still think you got it in you everybody a lot of boxes really show adrian broner a lot of respect and that's because of the type of heart that this guy has i know he's braggadocious you understand and he's had to be humble but he's a good guy he has a good heart and he's a warrior so we got to get that man his flowers right but those fights, Adrian Broner, Tiafimo Lopez, I would love to see Regis Pro Break get those fights. And the thing that makes it so good is Regis, he don't run from the smoke. Shout out to Louisiana. Shout out to my man, Greg Bailey from Sweveport. You understand? One of the most stand-up people I've ever met in my life. Bro. One of my best friends. Right now, he's not in, in Louisiana, Sweveport. I think he moved up to like, I ain't gonna say where because he used to be wild in the day. I don't know who might be looking for my boy, but anyway. Shout out to Sweetport, Louisiana. Shout out to the whole Louisiana period. They be having some real dudes come up out of there. You know what I'm saying? And Regis ain't gonna run from no smoke. He just gonna warn you, look, make sure this is what you really want. If this is what you really want, I'm gonna give you what you really want. Right? Because Regis, he's a people's champion. You understand? He's gonna give the fans the fights that the fans wanna see. Anyway, get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about what I said. You don't have to agree with me. All you got to do is do what I do, and that's love the sport of boxing. Locked in. Tough glove boxing. I'm out. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here.